This is Aditi, and this week we're going to try homemade Aussie Bites, an after school snack that gives a lot of energy and protein. This recipe is from the Stay at Home Chest website. This is a really easy recipe and it only takes around 30 minutes to make. So let's begin. The ingredients you'll need are 1 and 3 fourth cup of rolled oats, 1 fourth cup of butter, 1 fourth cup granulated sugar, 1 half teaspoon of almond extract. It's supposed to be vanilla, but I'm using almond today. 1 fourth cup honey. 1 fourth table teaspoon of baking soda. A pinch of salt. 1 fourth cup of canola oil. 1 fourth cup of flax seeds. 1 fourth cup of dried apricots. 1 fourth cup of raisins. I'm using cranberries today though. Um, one fourth cup chia seeds, one fourth cup sunflower seeds, and one fourth cup quinoa. These are your ingredients you'll need. Also, if you want to, you can also put one fourth cup shredded coconut, but since I'm allergic to coconut, we're not going to put that in. The first step is to cook your quinoa. In a medium saucepan, Go ahead and put in all your quinoa. Make sure the saucepan is heated to hot, like this. Let it saute for a few seconds until it starts popping. Once it's popping, put it immediately back into your bowl. And then cooking your quinoa is done. Your quinoa should be popping like this. Once your quinoa is done, you should let it cool. In the meanwhile, put a cup of oats into your food processor and pulse it. By the end, it should look something along the lines of this. Since I have a mini grinder instead of a food processor, I'm gonna put my rest of my processed oats in a bowl. If you don't have, if you have like a big food processor unlike me, you can just put all your ingredients in the processor and finish it there. But because I don't, I'm gonna use a bowl. Next, pulse all of your flax seeds like this. Then add your sugar, chia seeds, sunflower seeds and the remaining of your oats and pulse a few times. So it should look something along the lines of this. Then pulse your quinoa, your baking soda, and a pinch of salt. Then to the same mixture, Add your dried apricots and your cranberries. And pulse until your apricots and dried cranberries are in tiny pieces. everything is pulsed and put in the bowl, add in your canola oil, your melted butter,
your honey, your almond extract, and mix all of it with the spatula. Like this. Once your mixture is done, scoop the batter mix into muffin pans. Like this. Make sure the muffin pans are greased. After putting all your mixture into your pans, bake at 350 degrees for 10 to 12 minutes. So these are how the Aussie bites turned out because I didn't really put them in like the mini cupcake ones as you're supposed to. They're more like Aussie muffins, but they're not really muffins. But let me try one. They're both crunchy and chewy. It's a little too sweet for my taste, but it's actually really, really good. Yeah, so these are the Aussie Bites. So, this is the end of the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And for one of my videos, I finally got 1,000 views. So thank you for all the viewers of making funnel cake out of pancake mix. And I'll see you all next week. Bye!